Well, escape is all just one shot, eh? No, cut to the edit. Before we start the video, uh, I need to address uh, a small issue that I made the mistake of uh, reacting to a spot not directed by Dan, but actually directed by Rupert Sanders now. Um, he's the director of the live action version of Ghost in the Shell. But that aside, yeah, um, apologies for the small error. It's just that because uh, having a look through Dan's Vimeo account, uh, I didn't check that that, partic that specific video was directed by him or not. Um, I didn't realize that Dan has, a, he has a background in VFX, so I believe he, he had a hand in um, in the vfx part of it uh for that playstation 4 spot but yeah uh just to make up for it uh i will react to a second video which uh which is directed by dan and this one will be for the playstation 5 so uh, again apologies for the for the slight error there and um yeah let's continue on with the video all right yo uh as you can see new episode today and uh luckily was able to get the kid so I was, was able to get the kid outside. Um, yeah, so I got the house to myself for just a few minutes. So I thought um, I'd record an episode today. Um, yeah, I much prefer to do these videos during the day. As you can see, uh, the video kind of lags a bit. I'm in the process of getting a new webcam. Uh, I am slowly upgrading my equipment. And as for those of you have, who have been following, uh, these episodes, uh, I got myself a new mic, this Razer mic, which is pretty cool. It does the job. I think I need to find some extension arm to get it close to my to my uh, mouth so that uh, the audio can be clearer. But other than that, it's it's, it's doing a great job. Uh, today's episode, uh, we'll be diving into director Dan. Uh, it's pronounced as Dan D. Felice. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I discovered his work through the work of, um, again, for those of you who, who followed my channel, um, my favorite commercial director at the moment is uh, Solomon. And yeah, you should check that episode out because his work is amazing. And I'll be, I'll surely be revisiting more of his work but uh yeah i believe they did a uh, collaboration together at, at one point uh this was a few years back and then yeah i just looked at a lot of his work and um <clears throat> his style really um matches with with the kind of uh visual aesthetics that i that i quite like and that's um having really nice footage seamlessly blending with uh, visual effects and so yeah he, he's quite heavy on special effects but it's done really well like he, his approach to visual effects is more on the photo real side of things so there was one commercial which i had no idea was it was his but uh it's it's definitely a classic uh hold on i just downloaded it a few minutes ago so let me just bring that up this is it okay cool yeah so this is a commercial that i um that i saw like a couple of years ago and i was yeah i just for those of you who who um, have been following this channel you'll know that i'm a big advocate a big fan of uh, video game commercials just because they they're almost like mini blockbusters um yeah just contained in these one minute um video clips and so <clears throat> Yeah, just uh, just really amazing stuff, and um, and yeah. Before we dive into his work, for those of you who are new to this channel, uh, welcome. Um, and if you haven't yet, please like this episode. So like the video, um, leave a comment down below if you have any questions, and share. Uh, and most importantly, please subscribe. As you can see, I've passed the one hundred subscribers so yeah that's some sort of milestone right so let's hopefully we can reach for um for the next uh goal which is uh a thousand and yeah we'll just hopefully one day who knows 
reach that million mark. Um, it seems like uh, endless goal, but uh, for the for the time being, I am enjoying putting these videos together for you guys. And for those of you who are interested in the film industry or commercial industry, uh, I'm more than happy to uh, to share with you my experiences as a film director. It's a uh, it's a good way for uh, making a living if you can't make it to Hollywood, because not everyone can make it to Hollywood, right? It's almost like being um, being a famous painter. Uh, the the chance of you becoming a famous artist in in that domain um, is one in a I don't know what the what the ratio is, but um, I'm sure the average is very 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 low. But same thing, um, it's a good substitute for people who who like myself can't make it into Hollywood. But hey, um, or, or or to make feature films because feature films do take a lot of uh, it's a lot of investment, a lot of money, a lot of um, moving parts and getting people involved and all that all that sort of stuff but with commercials same thing there's a lot involved but uh yeah i mean when you work on a project you'll most likely be working well for in, in my case uh you'll be working on a project for a good month so that's including that's pre-production and then production so when you're actually shooting and then uh, post-production uh, I know in some countries the directors don't get involved in the post-production which um, yeah which is not in my case um, I'm basically involved in the whole process from pre all the way to post um, <clears throat> but yeah it's uh, definitely it's, it's not it's not a job for everyone it is you, you do need thick skin but uh it is an extremely rewarding job at the end of the day and so a very competitive market um but yeah it's it's a uh, you get to work with some really great people very talented um people yeah and you get to play with all the amazing toys that the guys in hollywood use so we we film on the re and we have sets and and all that stuff so um yeah and i just feel that uh so so, so i've created this channel because i feel that uh, the majority of people out there are just not aware of these really amazing commercials um some of them are quite mind-blowing they're almost like um yeah some of these budgets are huge you'd, you'd be surprised and just the amount of work and effort that has been put into these commercials um i just hope i can open your eyes into the world of commercials and for you to uh appreciate and see them through the lens of of a filmmaker instead of just uh thinking that they're just um a way for like a way for clients to to grab the consumer's um, attention um of course that's obviously their main goal but uh yeah there are some visually captivating commercials out there and this is that channel for me to um to introduce you to some of those amazing commercials that uh that don't quite really get the credentials or the or the credit that they deserve so let's dive in to the commercial this is for, so you can see that this is quite an old commercial it's for the ps4 um he's done other uh video game commercials uh recently but this is the one that has um that has made an impression on me so yeah let's check this out so here we go i'm curious about this location like was it some who are you not to be great location where you guys you. were able to block the imagination uh, of a brilliant child and the power large of area God. or was there some set ordinary? extension happening you in the background life or raise anyway the let's check this out first Oh, look at that. For you to be That's afraid, sad. you who can serve as judge and jury while hoarding infinite lives. Who are you to be a slave to the past? You who can travel time like the oceans and oh, rewrite see history the with a single word. In the background on that, who on that are you building. to be anonymous? You 
whose name should be spoken in reverent tones or in terrified whispers. And who are you to deny great? Is this all one shot? If you would deny to yourself, are there any cuts in this deny to the entire world. Sorry, it's been a while since we will not be denied. Seeing this. There's so much happening, but um, well, let's get this all just one shot, eh? No cuts, no edits. Greatness awaits. PlayStation. PlayStation. Yeah. Um. How how long was that? That was a minute and thirty seconds. It it, it flew really fast. Um, yeah, a lot was happening, and what was most impressive about that commercial, which I which I didn't realize until now, that it's all done in one shot. Um, I assume they shot it in some location, and a lot of it was set extensions, so they added like blue or green screen um, to make the area or the environment that he was in bigger than it actually is. Um, <clears throat> I believe it's set extensions. Um, I noticed the smoke and stuff, like all the debris, like especially at the start when that building crumbles. Smoke looked pretty realistic. Um, usually, you can catch, um, yeah, like CG smoke. It, it, there's something about it that kind of um, makes it look um, unnatural a lot of the times. But they did a really good job there. Um, yeah, because for smoke and stuff, they, they usually use like a uh, fume effects or um, Phoenix. Um, yeah, some of these um, um, applications, yeah, can create some really nice fluid um, smoke simulations, which uh, which look good. But a lot of the times, you can you can kind of tell, um, like if. If you've seen as many as I have, there are there are times yeah you could usually tell when it's CG, but in that case um, it was done quite well, very subtle and very well done. It looked extremely natural, but yeah, even the building crumbling, it looked pretty damn real. Like I wouldn't think it's CG, but at the same time I I know that they wouldn't actually um, demolish an entire building just for a commercial or maybe they have in the past um i've known i i know they've done some really crazy stuff in the past like um there's a director named jonathan glazer is um who who, who was a commercial director and then transitioned into making movies but he he, he did this sony uh, 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 what's, what's wrong with me today he he made this sony bravia 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 ad and uh, they they got like this entire building, and they set up these massive um, paint explosions for each level of that building. And even to this day, um, you can even see the behind the scenes. Um, I'm sure it's out there on YouTube. But um, yeah, back in those days, they they had this was all real as well. It was all practical, um, is what I'm saying. So so it's. Um, Back in those days, they used to really uh, go hardcore with the with the commercials, but um, but yeah, as promised, um, I'll be reacting to a spot directed by Dan, and this one is for the PlayStation Five. So I guess you can think of this as a sequel to the previous video that I that I just reacted to. So uh, yeah, enjoy, and here we. I mean, the sa sound design really sells it as well. So. The sound design is awesome. A world where you can see with sound. Is this a real actress or is 
Oh, is this a CG character? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is something I did not notice. Um, a wild way you can upon feel my first force viewing. At your fingertips. It's so cool. What got my attention was whether the main talent was real or if she was a CG character. It's a little hard to tell, but there are moments where I feel it's a CG character. Um, maybe if you're watching this, Dan, you can confirm whether the main talent CG character or whether she was real, but there are moments where I feel she's not real. I just love uh, commercials that uh, that can really showcase some really good effects, and, and I mean like good as in photo real effects. Um, usually, yeah, in the industry, there's just not enough time. Uh, to put together such uh, such amazing special effects like what you see here, but yeah, amazing, amazing stuff. Yeah, go go check out more of Dan's work. I'll be leaving a link to his Vimeo and his main uh, website. So uh, yeah, he's just got um, he's just got a library of just really amazing, amazing work. So check that out. And yeah, let's continue on with the video. Yeah, it's just like with music videos, um, budgets are getting less and yeah, we as filmmakers have to adapt to the current um, market. Yeah, we just kind of work out how to create magic um, with such limited resources. Ah, but that's filmmaking, eh? Um, but yeah. Go check out more of Dan's work. He's, I believe he's got a really cool Halo one and he's got, I think he's got a PS5 commercial there. And yeah, I just love his use of um, the, the amazing footage blending and seamlessly um, blending in with CG to create these worlds. And um, I love uh, photo real. Uh, CGI. Uh, it's something that is very hard to push for, especially in the commercial world when you don't have much time. Uh, there are deadlines, there are like uh, impossible deadlines uh, that you have to meet, and there's just never enough time to to create really good special effects. But um, but there are exceptions, and this is one of those exceptions where great CGI has uh, been implemented in a commercial. So um, yeah, one day I would love to work on a commercial of this scale one day, who knows? One day, fingers crossed. I hope you liked today's episode. Um, uh, I, I'm really going to be working hard on, on, on my YouTube channel in the coming months. So please help me support the channel by, by giving a thumbs up leave a comment if you have any questions i'm more than happy to answer them yeah let me know what things you'd like to see or if you have any recommendations for a commercial or even a music video i should check out i'm more than happy to check that out and perhaps even do a reaction on that so also follow me on instagram at asua underscore hand that's a-s-u-a -A underscore hand h-a-n and uh, all the all the information and description is in the description down below and yeah i'll see you in the next episode Whoosh.